Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on in to another Man Cave 101 podcast, Gauntlet Edition. You know how this goes. We got people fighting to the death, and today we have a good one for you. Uh, Season four of The Boys is coming out soon, so figured it would be a good time to bring up The Boys and a gauntlet. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of a throwback for you in case you were not born before 2008. I don't know why you're watching us, because you don't belong here. (laughs) But... (laughs) But we're going to be taking a look at Hancock, which, if you guys don't remember, Will Smith played him. And um, the power levels here are going to get interesting because a lot of people were talking about Homelander versus Hancock. Anyway, we're going to get into it. We're going to talk about it. Before we do that, let me introduce the guys. Live from the Man Cave is Kalo K, the Mama Wanna God. Leo, what's happening? I'm going to put your head in his <laughs> Fred Love, it's the Brooklyn way. Big Chase, what's happening? Hey, boy, listen, that's my guy right there. Hancock, dog. Hancock, that's the, that's the guy right there. Deep in the heart of Texas. Man, listen, it's Wendeezy. What's happening? My man was still drinking 40s in 08, bro. Like, hey, like for real? Hey, it was. My man. And I, of course, am your man in the chair, A.A. Ron. So I guess without further ado, let's just get into it. We got a little presentation for you here, and we're going to do this gauntlet. And we're starting it off... He's gonna have to go through everybody to get to Homelander. So, do we want to lay any? Do we want to lay any ground rules here? First off, nope. is Hancock is Hancock drunk? Let's start. There. Um, <laughs> if, 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 if Hancock, no, you, got, you got sober Hancock. Right there. Sober Hancock. So yeah, that's, that's sober Hancock. Wait, oh no, wait, you got both of them there. You got a drunk one and another drunk one. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> you got a drunk one and you got a halfway sober and then you got full sober. God damn it! So yeah. Hancock is drunk. This this shit's a this shit's a wash early. It is a wash early. <laughs> I would agree with you. Um, so here's one thing I will say, because a lot of people here might not maybe haven't seen Hancock or it's been a while. I just do want to remind everybody in the movie, he actually does have a lot of really crazy feats. So first off, he can fly. Homelander can also fly. Uh, he's, he, he flies very quickly. Obviously he didn't, he like go to the moon and do something on the moon, like carve the moon, some bullshit like that. Some shit like that. Um, he, uh, he was able to lift a whale that was beached and throw that bitch back in the ocean, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. And he was no, just... he actually hit a boat with the damn whale. Yeah. Oh, he hit a boat with it. That's right. Drunk Hancock again. Yeah, drunk, drunk um, Hancock. He also <laughs> saved a car from a train and then destroyed the entire train just by standing in front of it, if I remember yep, right. correctly. Yep. So Hancock's not a slouch. Let's not put it that way. He's definitely not a slouch. That well, being he... said... Yeah, let, Let's let me start. Jump, let, me, let me jump in here. I'm sorry. Let me jump in here quickly because I got the oh, list in front of me right now. So, um, invulnerability to all forms of injury, mm-hmm. ability to defy gravity and to fly, to fly at supersonic speeds, is mm-hmm. capable of interplanetary flight, mm. immortality. Damn. Seems like a big one. Highly developed regeneration, superhuman reflexes, and stamina. Well, I still think he's going to lose. <clears throat> Really? I don't know. All right. Well, all right. Before we get to it, well, let's, let's just let's just start from the beginning. So first off, um, my man A Train, black on black crime. Like, what's what's, <laughs> what's what's gonna happen to that man? That man A Train in this fight? I think he's gonna get Molly Yo, you, rem- you, remember what, you remember what A Train did to uh, Huey's girlfriend in that first episode? Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah, I think what comes around goes around. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I think he would try to like. Start doing circles around him or run around him, and we'd probably just get clotheslined at some point. And be like, nah, and, and, and like rip his whole head off, oh, like some Mortal Combat fatality. I think that'll, that'll work. He get his ass stuffed up somebody's ass. Remember my first comment? He's gonna get his head is gonna go back to Noir's ass. <laughs> That's All right. So, Leo, no, no deliberation there about A-Train, right? A-Train's going to get washed yeah, here in this fight. Yeah, All right. So let's move over to Black Noir. Now, now, Black Noir is interesting because depending on what version you look at of him, now, obviously, I have the show versions here. Yep. But, it, but technically, I don't know if you guys know this, but in the comics, Black Noir is actually the one that beat Homelander at the end of the comics. I don't know if anybody, spoiler, yes. if you haven't watched the comics, so or read the comics, rather, or seen any of them, but Black Noir is actually Homelander's duplicate who beats him in the comic books as the only person who can. But obviously, in the version of the boys we have now, Black Noir is presumed dead, quote unquote. <laughs> but, More black on black, run. Right? But, but we uh, we don't really know. So I think the thing that interests me about Black Noir is his power level is actually pretty high. We don't really get to see it that much because we just see crazy ass Black Noir well, in well, the boys. But... Well, I pulled it up. 
And yeah. he got superhuman strength, superhuman durability, superhuman speed, superhuman mm-hmm. ability. Uh, everything about him is superhuman. His reflexes, his hearing, mm-hmm. his healing factor. He has a healing factor, folks. Mm. Uh, he does have pain suppression, so you could hit him and he will just say, I don't feel that don't and feel not that. feel it. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And then he got what's called longevity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But to Chase's point, is it invulnerability? Is, is it is it immortality? Immortality. It is so not immortality. Yeah. So that's so the difference here. Arm ripped off. That's it. I mean, I don't know how much you're gonna pay to suppress that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, he, he might he might get limbs ripped off and be like, I don't feel that, and then Hancock yeah. will be like, Well, you might not feel it, but your arms are off. Yeah. So yeah. I don't really know. I don't really know how that's gonna go for you. So I think Black Noir does end up losing the fight. Yeah. Although I do think it is a little bit of a fight for Hancock, at least. I will say that. Now, I will say I probably should have flip-flopped these two in hindsight. But yeah, Starlight. Starlight's actually fucking strong, to be honest yeah. with you. She is. But well, I also think that He'll take her on a date and buy her some water. And, it, and then he's yeah. done. Yeah. He's, and then done. he's done. <laughs> this was his weakness. This was his downfall from yeah. the very beginning. He's going to go out on a date. <laughs> he'll get some I'm not saying it. I'm and, not saying it. I'm not saying it. it. I'm not I'm not touching that. And it's over. Oh, yeah. Hancock well, loses. What do you mean? Where do white women That's it. That's it. He loses. <laughs> stay, stay right out of that. He goes down. I'll say it. He goes down to the snow bunny. He goes That's down it. to the damn. That's it. That it sounds over. like sounds like an autobiography. Yeah. yeah I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like something recently in the newspaper. <laughs> All right. Let's let's say he doesn't fall for, for Star- Star- Starlight's Starlight's looks, and it's just a fight. Mm. Hancock, Hancock watches. She, she, she gets, she, she gets washed. She, she, get she gets, she gets faster than she, black in the wall. What's she, gonna, what's she gonna do? Light it up for him? Like, she, yeah, I'm gonna say she's gonna. No, you good, buddy. Thing. You good. Now we're getting into the heavy hitters here. Now Queen Maeve is not a slouch <laughs> either. <laughs> she's fucking strong, boy. Let me tell you something. She's strong, so but she can't fly. But she can't. She fly. cannot fly. Which is definitely going to play a factor here. And she's also not invulnerable. So that's the ass we That's the she's, she, she's she's gonna lose. She'll get into a real fight with him and it'll be a fight, but she'll lose ultimately. Yeah. Like like she'll she'll scrap with him for a little bit, but it'll she'll lose. Yeah, he he's, he'll put his hand straight through her and it's yep. a wrap, bro. Yep, mm, pretty mm. much. So this is this is the argument online, ladies and gentlemen. We're just gonna get right to it. So Homelander versus Hancock. Now, Homelander, he's that dude. I just want to say he's better. You he's know what better. I mean? Better, he's better than everybody. He's better. So, you know, is he better than Hancock? That's the question here. Mm. I, think he, I think he may have met his match on this one, in my opinion. It, yeah, I, I, listen, out of 10, oh, I gave Hancock at least eight. I was going to say, I'm, I think he beats him a bunch. Is, is he immortal? Uh, well, is that, he, does he have immortality? So, so the thing is, I think it's skewed because technically, <sighs> Homelander is just the strongest person in the boys' universe, but yeah. that doesn't really make him the strongest anywhere else. No, like right. if you start throwing him in with different people from different genres, a la Superman, Hancock, mm-hmm. people like that, he will end up taking L's. There's no like he'll, he's going to take L's here and there because he's he's just the strongest amongst these this group of people, right? Yep. Right. So like. To me, he could start shooting laser beams all he wants, but we've seen Hancock be able to deflect and move out of the way of those things. He's super yeah, speed. It, it, and, it, you says, know. it says he's impervious to injury. So, like, you know. And he'll literally just take him up into space and he's dead. Yeah, like, how do, you, how do you kill somebody that's impervious to injury? I mean, it's kind of like Hancock is like a, just a great, he's just a god. It's kind of he doesn't. Isn't that where his powers derive yeah, from? I think it's a god. I think yeah. I think him and, and Shorty were just gods, and yeah. and they came to Earth and you know lived as humans and until th- he got bashed in the head. And th- and then like I think obviously Hancock's weakness is the girl in the movie, right? <laughs> we're just gonna call it what it is. So like <laughs> normally, <laughs> normally, I would, normally I would be like, so Homelander's so sick that he'll just go find Shorty. But if he goes to find Shorty, he's also gonna get. His- because so, she's just as strong as he is, if not stronger. Yeah, so, like, yeah. he's gonna get his ass beat twice if he tries yeah. to do that. There's I really mean, no, there's no way for him to win. I think he hangs in there longer than anyone else on this list for sure. Um, he fights him. He fights fights, but in the end, he will lose that. He, en- he ends up decapitated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. literally, yeah. literally he ends up taking it off. 
<laughs> I don't think, yeah, that's it. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah Hancock is that guy. The thing is, is that he'll try to laser beam him and he'll just fucking put his hand up. And it's and it's like, okay, he has regenerated, he can regenerate, you know, he can regenerate his arm, and then he'll just literally either pick him up by the throat or just rip him apart. <laughs> or or take his stub of his arm and just punch right through him. Oh yeah. man. I, I, don't, I don't see I don't see a scenario where uh Highlander wins this thing. Uh, also, I, I, I feel like doesn't doesn't also doesn't Homelander have like certain isn't he like what is it high pitch frequencies like they'll find ways to use things against him. Oh yeah, they'll find yeah. like I, I think he has like super sensitive hearing. Like if you do high pitch shit, he goes fucking nuts. I mean, but the thing is, he would. He so like, would he, he, Hancock wouldn't even need all that. Yeah, I don't know, think he would. But I'm saying there's, there's weaknesses there. Is what I'm trying it's to say. It's a straight like can, power battle. Yeah, if you're talking about a power battle, I don't see how how Homelander yeah. stands a chance. Honestly, let's see. But that's where I'm coming from. So let's, I think in the end, the girlfriend next to him. the girlfriend's stronger than him. Yeah, but the girlfriend. If they bring both of them together, they both get weaker. True. Maybe. Yeah, they do. Maybe. <laughs> They're both each other's kryptonite. Funny how that works, huh? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Lord. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the mo- it's in the movie, ladies oh, yeah, no, You're correct. I agree, I agree with you. It's in the movies, it's in the movie. but, it, but it also has premise on real life. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you're making this weird. What, what, is, what, do you, what do you mean by that? I don't, I don't mean I don't mean anything. I mean <laughs> I mean that Homelander loses and Hancock wins. That's yes, what I mean. in the end. That's in the end, yeah. Hancock prevails. He defeats all of the boys. You could throw anybody else out there. I don't care. Billy Butcher with the powers. Yeah, it doesn't uh, fucking. It, it, it doesn't matter. matter. I think Hancock matter. wins. Yeah, Soldier Boy, you're dead. Soldier Boy, yeah. Soldier Boy, you you'll say something funny, but you're gonna die. <laughs> It will be funny as shit, though. But, of course, we want to know your thoughts in the comment section. Did we miss something from comic lore? Why Mm. why do you think maybe Homelander would win if you had, or anybody else on that list? Anything outside of plot armor. (laughs) A plot armor. Oh, God. We don't use plot armor or prep time in this damn podcast. (laughs) (laughs) That's the wrong wrong heroes. Wrong heroes. Well, well, then then Batman loses everything. <laughs> Sorry, My he bad. lost that too soon. Son. Too soon. My bad. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> we want to know your thoughts in the comment section. So please let us know what you think. Would Homelander end up winning? Does uh, Hancock just run the gauntlet here? That's what we seem to think. So you let you guys let us know down below. Of course, I will hit you with the usual usual spiel. We are now up over a thousand subscribers. Your boys are starting to make some noise on YouTube, yeah. but we need your help to make more noise. So please click the like and subscribe button below. It's free for you guys. It helps us out more than you will ever know. Also, we run a nerdy podcast every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, it's currently live on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. But you can mm-hmm. also catch us on Kick, Rumble, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, any place where you watch or listen to podcasts, you can catch us there. And until the next gauntlets, we will catch you guys next time. It shall be violent. Peace. Peace. Peace.